temple is part of a complex of cave temples that are found at a site in India that is known as Ellora. Here there are over 30 cave temples. All of them are intricately carved out of solid rock into the side of a mountain. It is a whole complex of cloisters and walkways and auxiliary shrines. And it's a complex that is twice the size of the Parthenon in Athens. It is an absolute magnificent feat of engineering and also logistics. And archaeologists have determined that over a time of 18 years, the builders scooped it out over 400,000 tons of rock. That means they had a workforce and they worked for 12 hours each day. They would still have to remove five tons of rock every hour. And even if they worked for 24 hours a day, that would still mean 2.5 tons of rock per hour. Who does that? We can't do that today. In The Secret Doctrine by Madam H.P. Blavatsky, a mystical compendium authored in 1888, she asserts that the European scholars and archaeologists are all wrong about sites like Ellora. She asserts that it's the Brahmins and the yogis that have a real understanding of the simple fact that beneath sites like Ellora, there are innumerable secret passageways, caverns, corridors, and labyrinths. And it was said that these caves went to an underground super cave where there were energy machines and other ancient devices from uh, the world before some kind of extraterrestrial machines, the ones that had made these tunnels. Could it be that some of the stories in Hindu mythologies are true that speak of wondrous machines that were able to carve and cut things just with the push of a button? I think that it's quite possible that at some point, extraterrestrials gave technology to our ancestors that they taught them how to use them because the extraterrestrials never dirtied their hands, ever. All they did was give instructions. And this is why these holy places began. So the idea is that the Kailasa temple was one of the places where direct physical contact happened with extraterrestrials. 